Adobe joins the Blender Development Fund. No, God! No, God, please! All right, guys, how's it going? I hope you're doing very well. Now, I have some very interesting news on the Blender front today. Some pretty entertaining, to be honest. But the main one and the big one today is Adobe joins the Blender Development Fund. Today, Adobe announced that they will join the Blender Development Fund as a corporate gold member. Now, I've already started to see the immediate reaction on Twitter, people giving it no, so it's a little bit of a meme to be honest, but personally, I think this is actually a really good thing. It means there's more money, and this is good for the Blender Development Fund, and it means it's good for artists as well. Now, I'm hoping Adobe have a little bit of sway, or can at least push Blender in a certain direction when it comes to things like substance integration, stuff like this. Personally, I think it's absolutely fantastic. I know you do get that kind of Adobe vibe, to be honest, but hey, money's money at the end of the day. So the big one, and the one that I find personally interesting, is Edward Snowden is a Blender user. <laughs> Every time I use Blender, I'm blown away by what free and open software can achieve. Can you believe it, Edward Snowden? And he's actually quite good. It's good now that I've stopped pirating software, <coughs> Maya probably, now go finish the asset browser, so even Edward Snowden knows the asset browser still needs to be finished. <laughs> so I found that pretty amusing to be honest. So just to quickly wrap up the video, Pablo, this is an array brush, a new tool that can extract and copy geometry from active object, it's a very nice sculpting tool to be honest. Some of the comments were a bit... Oh, can we just get radio array inside of Blender? That'd be good. <laughs> and that's pretty much been your Blender news. Do me a favour, guys. Like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You know what to do.